Hey guys, um, so <clears throat> today I'm going to show you my pallet mill. Um, I've always wanted a pallet mill, but um, I don't have the money to buy one. So, so I did a little bit of research and watched some guys on YouTube, and um, I never quite find a guy that actually explains it very, you know, proper on how it works and stuff like. That. So I'll do my best and hopefully you guys can learn something and maybe build your own. So, But this is just a prototype, so it's proof of concept. You know, I'm going to build a better one if it works properly. So, But it works, actually. Believe it or not, it actually works. So it's very easy. So basically what you need is a steel plate on top. And another one. You just need two steel plates. As you can see, there's another one. You see in the inside where the pellets are and basically what I did was I've got an old um, 7.5 kilowatt motor and it's driven with fan belts to this pulley and actually when I turn it it turns the top plate as you can see it turns the top plate and of course also the bottom plate let me just get a good shot for you guys you can see there so what happens is when this one turns the bottom one turns also so I've got the rollers on top here and when it pressed the pallets it fell through and it fell on that steel plate at the bottom and as it turns you know gravity adds its way and forces it out here and of course over the surf and you surf all the non pallets out and you can just you use them again so as you can see this is the pellets that this machines make. Well, it's not, you know, when you like the ones you buy in the store, it's quite hard, but if I really press it, it breaks. So, but as you can see, well, proof of concept. So, first try. Maybe the second one will be much better. The most work in this machine is, of course, drilling all the holes and okay as you can see just a normal steel pipe and some welding and then you're done and what you also need is of course is the rollers now i've got this from a scrapyard and i've got luckily i got a friend with a uh, what do you call it uh oh well, i don't know but in afrikaans it's called a dry bunk but um, i'm not sure what's the english word turning table i don't know whatever it is but you need two of those and of course this is the bottom of the sorry my mistake top plate so when I put it on like this let me just be with you guys all right so as you can see there then the rollers will go in here so and of course I need to bolt this down so as you can see I need to bolt it down and with the rollers inside, let me just put it back again. Let me just show you how it works. Basically very straightforward. I'm not going to do the complete assembly because I can't do it with one hand. This goes in here and that one goes in there. And of course you need another bearing. Come on. I'm just bear with me guys. Trying my best, yeah, okay. So, and of course, another bearing goes at the, at the ends, but just for the purpose of this video. Okay, like this, and of course, and then this goes inside. All right, so it goes inside, then I've got these bolts that can adjust the pressure of this rollers on the steel plate. So, basically what happens is, I'm gonna show you. Put this on here. All right, like this, very straightforward. And then I can take this one. Of course, you can see the gaps where the rollers would go. Sorry. Let's show it quickly. I've got to get a tripod. All right, and then it goes. You know, as you can see over there, and then I'll just hit it with a hammer until it's snug. And then when it's done. I'll just tighten these screws to press down on this steel so it can actually press on the top steel plate. Alright, so this will this won't move. Just the rollers will turn so it won't 
you know, turn around and kind of stuff like that. It needs to stand still. So that's why you need to cut in the pipe and extend the little steel a little bit so it doesn't move. So basically what will happen is if the motor turns this would stand still but only the rollers will roll so it would be like this and of course this one will go the opposite direction all right so okay that's basically the principle of the pallet machine hope you guys understand and now I will make a video of me making pallets so and of course I will try to go pro camera on my head and hopefully that will work better so stay tuned